In today's video, what we're going to cover is how to use the stock screener that's built into TradingView and how to use the side social buttons to have an ability to see other people's trade ideas as well as share your own and find some hot stocks that are performing in the market. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I wanted to show you is using the screener tool at the bottom of TradingView. From any chart for any template, at the very bottom, there's a screener button that you can click and you can actually click there and expand it out and it allows you to screen a stock for your conditions and your criteria. One of my favorite ones are you could actually do performance driven criteria which say volatility. So if you want to see stocks that are only above, for example, a volatility reading of 30% or more as an options trader, you would see those stocks listed and those tickers uh, match right there. And those are probably stocks that have had earnings. You can, if you like the company, for example, like Under Armour, if you click it, Under Armour just had earnings today. You can see it'll bring you in to their uh, homepage that explains a little bit about the company. If you click interactive chart, it'll then open up that interactive chart to allow you to engage and move with that company. All right, so that's how you use the screener at the bottom. That's the very first thing I wanted to show you. When you're ready to turn the screener off, you could either scroll down. All right. You can also screen, by the way, before I do that, for top gainers, top losers, all-time high stocks. There's some pre-built uh, screeners for you. Before I close it, I will show you that. Uh, all-time highs here, the stock's trading on all-time high. If you want to look at some companies that are, for example, all-time low, there you go. If you want to look for overbought companies, there they are as well. And they're sorted out by performance. Trend following will show you. Uh, SMAs, moving averages, Bollinger Bands, and you could add your very own columns here. You see Fibonacci's, errands, changes, dividends, EPS, a whole bunch of different screening criteria on the right side, and then the pre-built screeners here are at the top. They're going to be top losers, gainers, etc. So this is a very powerful tool for finding trading opportunities within the platform itself. Another thing I wanted to show you is the right social bar here and how it works. The very first thing you'll notice if you click that magnifying glass, these are actually your stock watch lists. So if you want to follow companies, you could click here and say create new list. You give that name, that list a name, for example, TPA Hot Stocks. And when you hit enter, it'll create a new watch list for you. If you type in the name of the company, it'll allow you to choose a symbol and it adds the MSFT, for example, Microsoft. Google, and whatever else you would like can get added here. You could then move them around to swap places. You could click X to erase them. And you could build your saving, or you could save your watch list and switch through them or between them right down here. You could also save them with a new name, import them, clear all the symbols, and do as you wish. All right, if you want to delete it, you just click beside it, click the X, it'll ask you and confirm and that watch list is gone. The second button down here is alerts that you've set up on your own company. So if you want to know when the price of Apple, for example, let's say on, on here you click it. All right, if Under Armour crosses a certain value, you could alert, you could send an email, you could play a sound, that email goes to the email you registered with, or send a text message if you're a pro subscriber, um, or show a pop-up, and a number of other things as well. So you could create alerts, so you don't have to keep checking up on the stock, it'll tell you when it's time to actually look at it based on the alert that you've set. That's your alerts menu. On the right side, this is your data window. This is for the current stock, currently it's Under Armour. So you go through, have a look at the volume, the open, high, low, close, and a little bit more details of what you have on the price pane. The next one down here is called your hot list. These are hot lists, hot lists based on the US exchange volume gainers, percentage change gainers, percentage change losers. So these are your winners, your losers, and the biggest amount of volume that's traded. You could always change these to be in a different country, and you could preset them as well. So these are customizable, modifiable, and very powerful tools as well. The next thing down is the economic calendar. Not many traders know about this, but it is actually built into TradingView. You could see what economic data will be released on a daily basis. And if you click it, it gives you an explanation of what that indicator is. So it allows you to read about economic data, and it also tells you when the earnings will be taking place. So here's an earnings calendar for October 31st 
right on Halloween, you could see all the different companies that are reporting earnings. If you like it, you could click that company and that chart will actually load up for you. So this earnings calendar is very powerful. You could change the country for each stock as well. All right, the next thing to the downside is uh, my ideas. So you could create trading ideas. You could hit a plus and save it and then publish that idea. And you could also send it to Twitter. I'm not going to do that or stock twits. And that idea will get published if you want to be social. Now, I'll also show you in a moment how to actually see other ideas that have been published. You could also go into a trader chat. So if you want to talk with other traders and you have something to say, you could talk here. All talks, they're listed. You could scroll down. You could see all the different trading rooms. And you could actually interact and talk with traders that are using TradingView. So there's actually a social feature as well. The biggest things you'll probably be using is your earnings calendar, some of the hot lists for volume, winners, losers, uh, and some alerts if you're using with your watch list. That's the right menu. And it's a very powerful feature of TradingView to be able to follow that kind of information within one ecosystem. Some traders will have a whole different screen for news, a whole different screen for earnings, a whole different website they go to. TradingView just amalgamates all that information into one. If you want to hide it, just close that tool and it'll disappear. You could also resize this by doing that, just dragging it. You can see some of the headlines and news for Apple. Powerful and very neat feature. If you want to see some ideas, what you could actually do, and this goes in with the social aspect of TradingView, if you delete everything, you can actually click this little light bulb up here, and you'll see publish ideas by other traders. Now remember, these are ideas that are generated publicly so they're not buying opportunities they're not trading signals they're not free trading signals they're just ideas created by the members and shared so if you click this light bulb on all the trading ideas will come on that people have created and shared publicly so down here if you created your own idea and shared it it would show up on here as well you can click the green and this member Naozi Golden thinks that for whatever reason Apple is going to continue to go up you click the dot there's his analysis and if you scroll down, you could see why they think it's going up. If you click the play arrow, you could actually see the most recent data. So if this is an old idea and you click play, it'll show you all the data that's occurred after it. So very neat, very social. You could then share that. You could thumbs up it and you could interact with that user. You could add them. It's essentially a social trading platform and that's the beauty of it. You could turn that light on for get idea to get ideas. You could turn that light off as well. I like to use it as a sentiment. You could see that down here, there were some longs that were trying the idea on the long side. And you could see as it broke through, there weren't very many long traders on the way down. And that's your cue to start getting long. When there aren't that many green ideas, that's a light bulb moment for you to start looking for the buy side as a contrarian investor. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video of the tutorial. We showed you how to use the stock screener to identify some actionable and potential profitable trading ideas, how to use a social feature, how to create a watch list, how to look at the economics and earnings calendars within TradingView, and I hope it's been powerful and helpful to you. Take care. Have a great day. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more great information, and let us know how we can help you in your journey to becoming a successful trader. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have yourself a phenomenal day, and I'll see you in our next video.